craziest conspiracy theories in NBA history. The South Beach conspiracy is still the biggest conspiracy? Let's find out. When you are as big of a franchise as the NBA, you get surrounded by controversies and conspiracies. NBA has had loads of conspiracies throughout its history. For today's video, we are going to be discussing the craziest conspiracy theories in NBA history. So without further ado, let's dive right in. 4. The Draft Lottery The first conspiracy on our list revolves around the NBA Draft Lottery. It has inspired quite a few conspiracy theories, none more famous than the Patrick Ewing sweepstakes in 1985 though. Supposedly, the NBA wanted its biggest market to get the number one pick in the unweighted lottery so Patrick Ewing could go play for the New York Knicks. As a result, they are said to have fixed the selection process, which consisted of drawing envelopes out of a large bowl. The two prevailing theories are as follows. 1. The envelope containing the New York logo was frozen so that Stern could easily recognize which one it was. 2. The same envelope had a folded corner so that Stern could feel which one it was. You can watch the video of the proceedings yourself and let me know in the comments if you agree with me on this. Then there are other draft-related theories, such as rewarding the struggling teams by fixing the lottery in their favor. 3. Davis The next conspiracy revolves around Anthony Davis. He has proved to be a franchise player just as many suspected back in 2012 after being picked by the New Orleans Hornets, who picked him after winning the lottery, despite them having more wins than Washington and Charlotte. In fact, Charlotte won just seven games in the 2011-12 season, 14 less than New Orleans. After the Hornets, now Pelicans, traded Chris Paul to the Lakers, vetoed by the league, and then the Clippers, it became obvious that the NBA didn't want to have a dwindling franchise on its CV. Davis was seen wearing a Hornets hat even before he was picked by the team. Theorists say he probably knew something no one on the outside knew. Think about this scenario. If this theory is true and this was fixed, let's say the lottery goes down legitimately and Charlotte ends up with the number one pick. Davis may have actually been a Charlotte Hornet today, rather than a former New Orleans Hornet, now Pelican. 2. Clay Bennett's Oklahoma City Roots The next conspiracy on our list is around Clay Bennett's Oklahoma City Roots. Is it even a coincidence the businessman who happened to purchase the Seattle Supersonics called Oklahoma City Home? Clay Bennett purchased the team from Howard Schultz in 2006 under the good faith condition that he'll make every attempt to keep the team in Seattle. Supposedly, he breached that agreement by failing to make any realistic attempts and lazily attempting to raise money for a new stadium. It doesn't help Bennett's case that he settled a lawsuit with Schultz by paying $75 million in 2008, right before the team moved to his hometown and became the Oklahoma City Thunder. 1. Meeting at South Beach The next conspiracy on our list is revolving around a few people meeting in South Beach. Back in 2004, Lebron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh hit it off as teammates for the U.S. Olympic squad and became the best of friends. In 2006, James Wade and Bosch signed extensions for the same length of time with their respective teams. In 2010, they all joined forces with the Miami Heat. Spike Lee agrees with this conspiracy theory. Even though you have to take the New York Knicks, Superfin's words with a few grains of salt. This is nothing but a pure cord loan gangster move. It was laid out. This didn't happen by happenstance. They made people look like idiots. They had the thing planned out two years ago. Anyway, this wraps up our video for today. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it.